Bonnie Willison, age 39, was best known for being a swimsuit model as well as being the one-time wife of Baywatch star Jeremy Jackson. But these days, she's been living in California homeless camps for almost seven years. While once upon a time she was modeling and appearing at events with her ex Jeremy, who she wed in 2012, she ultimately developed a drug addiction which led to her homelessness. We'll talk about this latest sighting of Lonnie and more on this episode of Famous News. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. This is Zebo. Be sure to give us a follow wherever you're watching and let's get into the news. Baywatch actor Jeremy Jackson's ex-wife and former model Lonnie Willison was recently spotted in Los Angeles searching around in a dumpster for food. The one-time swimsuit and fitness model has been living in homeless encampments in California for about seven years and she was just seen in Santa Monica looking disheveled and pushing a shopping cart full of stuff through the back streets. Sadly, Lonnie once claimed she makes herself look as dirty as possible to avoid being sexually abused on the street. Lonnie was best known for her role as Kira Michaels in the hit TV series Exposé. She was married to Baywatch actor Jeremy Jackson, but their rocky relationship ended in 2014 after Jackson allegedly attempted to strangle Willison during a drunken fight. Since their split, Willison has reportedly struggled with addiction and mental health issues. Her life took a downward turn and Lonnie can often be seen wandering the streets, pushing her overflowing shopping cart and dumpster diving in search for food. Like in these photos, snacking in a sandwich from the bin. Just eight years ago, Lonnie was living the Hollywood dream, modeling and appearing on red carpets at events alongside Jeremy. When Lonnie and Jeremy tied the knot on a Californian beach in 2012, dressed in white, right by their snow white dog, the duo looked like the perfect Hollywood couple. The couple appeared to be madly in love, but Jeremy, a former child star, already had a history of drug addiction, which had begun during his time as a teen on Baywatch. He'd already spent 90 days in jail when he was young for possession and completed five stints in rehab. Lonnie and Jeremy's marriage would descend into booze-fueled arguments. In August 2014, police were called to their home after Jeremy allegedly attacked Lonnie. She later claimed he strangled and beat her, leaving her with two broken ribs and injured neck and scratches on her face and body. But she decided not to press charges. However, they split right after. After Lonnie developed a drug addiction, she fell on hard times sleeping on the streets in Venice, homeless. The former model was found on the streets for the first time in two years in October 2020, having been homeless since around 2016. Lonnie has reportedly suffered from an addiction to crystal meth and mental health issues. After she was found a while back, Lonnie had told the son that she's doing just fine and continued saying, I haven't spoken to Jeremy. I don't want to speak to my friends. I'm doing just fine. I don't want anyone to help me. Bonnie also insisted that she can live on her own and has everything she needs right at her fingertips because of how affluent the area of Venice is. She also added, I haven't got a cell phone, I've got food, and I've got a place to sleep. I get money here and there, and there's food in the bins near the stores. There's lots here. While Lonnie once graced magazine covers, these days she appears to be missing multiple teeth and has her hair cut in a pixie cut. Before disappearing in October 2018, Lonnie opened up about her tragic fall from grace in an appearance with Daily Mail TV, and reporters located her on a busy stretch of Melrose Avenue in West Hollywood, where she was reunited with friend and former model Kristen Rossetti. Lonnie explained that her unfortunate path to homelessness started in 2016 when she worked as an assistant at a cosmetic surgery center in LA, then claiming she worked for a realtor who refused to pay her, which only added to her financial, mental, and emotional issues. Lonnie also began suffering from an increasingly severe mental illness that led her to her convincing herself that she was being tortured in her apartment with electricity. Unable to pay her bills or hold down a job, Lonnie was eventually evicted from her West Hollywood apartment and forced to live on the streets, which is where she's at now. Her hardships all occurred after her divorce from Jeremy, which was finalized in 2014. New controversial social media personality, Andrew T and his brother Tristan, well, they still aren't going anywhere. In fact, they recently made their long awaited comeback to the world of live streaming this past week. The problem is, well, things they took an unexpected twist when their emergency meeting, it was interrupted by an unexpected power outage. This sparked a wave of speculation among their viewers, with some referring to it as yet another possible attack from the entity Andrew refers to as the Matrix. Now, is there actually foul play of 
afoot here, or did one of the Tate brothers simply forget to pay their electric bill? Well, to find out everything, you're going to want to stay tuned to this episode of Famous News. So just yesterday, on June 14, 2023, well, Andrew and Tristan, they hopped onto Rumble via live stream, marking the first time that they've been able to be in front of a live audience with their fans since their release from a Romanian prison. Now, Andrew, he returns to the digital realm, and it was met with anticipation as fans of this, uh, well, controversial and provocative online presence. Well, they were hoping to hear his thoughts and his insights following his ordeal with the Romanian authorities. Well, they got what they hoped for, kind of. During the course of the stream, well, Andrew and his brother, they candidly discussed their ongoing legal investigation, which goes into their lives as their audience grew at one point as large as 430 concurrent viewers. Now, this makes it one of the top five biggest streams on the internet of all time. However, before the brothers could wrap up their discussion, well, suddenly the power went dead in their house. Now, once the feed was dropped, well, Andrew, he hopped onto social media to let his fans know what had happened, and his followers immediately began to theorize as to why the power went out, with many of them assuming there was no possible way that timing this outage was in any way a coincidence. In fact, almost everyone who was tuning in and those who support these guys, well, they seem convinced that this power outage, well, it was an attack by his critics to silence him further, with one fan after another, well, they sent out messages of support. They stated, Matrix attack, timing, suspicious. There was also, the Matrix is trying to shut down the top G. What do you guys think? Did the Matrix really pull the plug on Andrew's internet just to keep him silent? Or was the power outage simply a coincidence? Truthfully, we'll never probably find out the answer to all these questions, which, uh, well, it only helps fuel the Tate Brothers narrative that this whole thing is one giant conspiracy to shut them down. Very fascinating stuff, and we'll be keeping you updated on as much as we can when it comes to the Tate Brothers, but the problem is, is that even talking about them seems to get you in trouble. Our videos get demonetized or they get community guideline violations. So if you want to support us, well, leave a comment, follow the page, hit us up with uh, any information you have regarding what's going on. In fact, the Tate brothers used to feed me some news stories. So uh, I don't know, maybe I'm the plug. If you want to know more, stay tuned. I'll see you guys in another video.